Oh, that's be a good one. Next one. U.S. Homeland Security will spend $700,000 to investigate radicalization through video games. The initial work will lean towards white nationalism and white supremacy. The United States Department of Homeland Security has awarded a nearly $700,000 grant to terrorism and security researchers to investigate radicalization through video games. As reported by Vice, the funds are headed to Middlebury's Institute Center on Terrorism, Extremism, and Counterterrorism, CTEC. The nonprofit organization take this and a company looking to curb toxic online behavior called Logically. Um, it's funny, for a group that has logic in its name, they obviously have none. <laughs> Over the past decade, video games have increasingly become local points of social activity and identity creation for adolescents and young adults. Relationships made and fostered within game ecosystems routinely cross over into the real world and are impactful parts of local communities, the grant announcement on the DHS website said. Correspondingly, extremists have used video games and targeted video game communities for activities ranging from propaganda creation to terrorist mobilization and training. So apparently Facebook uh, being having a Black Thugs Matter and Antifa page is okay. <laughs> One of the goals of this new project is to develop a set of best practices and centralized resources for monitoring and evaluation of extremist activities, as well as a series of training workshops for the monitoring, detection, and prevention of extremist exploitation in gaming spaces for community managers, multiplayer designers, law developers, mechanics designers, and trust and safety professionals. The announcement notes that video game studios of all sizes, in many cases, are not fully educated on how these extremists may try to exploit their game in an effort to radicalize the players. While nationalists have unfortunately found a footing in this space, as there have been groups on Steam who were openly espousing neo-Nazi beliefs and worshipping school shooters in the past. Uh, nice they have no examples. Uh, Steam has attempted to remove these groups, but the people behind this grant want to go further. Of course they do. Take this. Dr. Rachel Cowart and CTEC's Alex Newhouse shared some of their early findings at this year's Game Developer Conference, and it confirms that the initial focus will lean towards white nationalism and white supremacy, because like I said, Black Thugs Matter is not a problem. Hopefully their efforts will make some lasting changes in this industry and beyond. This effort comes at a time following the racially motivated mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, that was broadcasted on Twitch and saw 10 people killed and 3 more injured. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, so apparently, apparently if you use Twitch, you must be an extremist and a white supremacist. And if um, you're on Xbox Live, then you're like a radical, so it's trying to recruit people. For your or a neo-Nazi, apparently. Uh, you want to you want, you want tear this article apart first, or you want me to go? I think, I, it's, it's my baby at first, but this is your baby too, so it's kind of like you go for torturing the, the, the soul at, her, at heart, so... <laughs> so you want me to go first? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. You're starting to answer questions like Fraser Crane. <laughs> like, like we eventually get to the answer, but we go the long, scenic route. <laughs> anyway, um, so apparently people still haven't learned their lesson from the 90s. People still haven't learned that if video games drive you to do something, that person had a mental problem. And we talked about this a little bit on Thursday uh, after we finished Shredder's Revenge about there's and since since the late 90s 98 I think was the year of Columbine mm -hmm. there were what six mass shootings that you can name in the last 20 let's see 24 years I would expect a 10 but that, that's, that's still a conservative number Well, we only named six okay yeah between the two of us uh and you and you even brought up a couple that I've forgotten. So I don't really think so. With six in um, two and a half decades, I really don't see gaming being a problem. And if you know, and the thing is, with these online accounts, you know, uh, most people have to be a teenager before they even get online. Anyway, I know Switch might be different, but they're not investigating Switch anyway. So. So it's most people are online when they're at least a teenager or older, a young teenager or older, and now and now they're saying, "Oh, uh, this is a place where people can be radicalized." Um, excuse me, have you seen Twitter? Have you seen Facebook? Have you seen 
uh, Reddit? Have you seen other message boards where actual where this actually goes on? Oh yeah. <laughs> and and you and but but yet you gotta spend seven hundred thousand dollars of taxpayer money to investigate something that's been under scrutiny since the nineteen nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you remember, um, I showed you uh, when I was in New York uh, the Dangerous Games documentary about Night Trap. Right. How everyone was saying, oh, it, it's a plot to kill and um, force. Uh, Force college women, and it's like no. The object of the player is to save the women. And Congressman Not- Lieber led the charge and tried to take down the game and content of sorts. So, yeah. So I mean, and the thing is, they were wrong then. This is wrong now. This is this is more. Um, and this is and this is also going to be a big nothing burger, which is surprise what the government's best at. Yeah. So I mean, you know, radicalization through video games. Where have we heard this before? I know, right? I mean, how, look how many games were censored just because they were too extreme. Manhunt anyone? <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat couldn't have blood in it at first because of uh, parents. I mean, Don't you know, and that. So I mean, it's 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 kind of like you're going through the same argument. But how many generations of gamers have there been since you've been giving us these arguments? And yes, there's big gaming communities, but don't tell me that everyone's getting huddled together. I'll show you a Call of Duty Xbox 360 lobby from the year 2010. <laughs> be two minutes. In two, in two minutes, you'll be crying from all the insults you hear going through that chat room. So, I mean... A lot of trash talking, my friends. That's all it is. Yeah, so, I mean, it's... Yeah, but these people, you know... Uh, they 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 see an they see an anthill and they think you got an infestation. Um, you know it's interesting too. Uh, speaking of radicalization, there's been uh, there's been like not copycats, but there's been incidents where one incident actually for the GTA Vice City uh, in, in regards to that game, someone tried to ha- uh, carjack a car because of the of the video game itself, and he was like 16 at the time, not 15. So it's kind of like you know that's just a like, one exception among how many cases out there in the United States there. Are, that not really considered to be a, a problem among society at large. Like, just that one person trying to hijack a car because of he played too much of Vice City, the game. But that's about it. That's all we can think of. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, that's a rare exception. A very rare yeah, exception. Yeah, that's one person. I mean, I they even covered that, I think, in Game Informer. Or, um, I think it was Game Informer. Mm-hmm. And the person wrote to the Game Informer staff, um, no, 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 the person wrote about it in a Game Infor- uh, to a Game Informer staff. And the Game Informer staff was like, I'd like to see that mem- that guy who uh, tried to do Grand Theft Auto Vice City in real life. I'd like to see him try to play Blitzball from Final Fantasy in real life. <laughs> oh, he's good out of water and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, so good luck. Um, Holding your breath for a minute and an hour's on end. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's no, it's 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 the fact that we we don't say, hey, this person has a mental problem. This or, or, you know, if you wanted to look into bullying, that would even be a better, uh, that would be a better aim. But no, we gotta waste, we gotta waste time on a battle that's, that they've lost since the 90s. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you can go. Well, you cover a lot of, a lot of things about the radicalization of video games, because it's just not, it's not 100% there, per se. Like, yeah, yes, there are supposedly group, quote-unquote, hate groups. But they're usually like what they call them. You call them clans. You call them like groups that are like just there for a few days to a few weeks at a time, and they get disbanded after a while. And that's it. They move on with their lives. I took part in a, a clan called the Yoshi Clan on the Alien vs. Predator 2 video game. You want to call us radicals for for folks on that one game to play a lot of violence and gore? That don't make any sense. And the leader of that group, Yoshi Clan, he was not there for a few months. So. What what are you trying to say that there's a leader going on or leaders trying to recruit members like crazy and start this radical movement and take over the government or whatever? I mean, it's a, it sounds like a very ideal, honorable purpose at first in life. You want to better the betterment of mankind through like get rid get rid of like hostile governments. But in today's world, it's all about the games. It's all about trash talking. It's about having a good time, smoking weed, eating your potato chips, eating your Mountain Dew Doritos, you know, and having a good time. Now, if you want to radicalize people, you might as well do Islam's, you know, 
what's it called, not Mecca per se, but somewhere in the Middle East, just to see how radicalized they get over there. And that doesn't include video games most of the time. It's an add-on to the fact, yes, you now chat anonymously to other people online, obviously. But that, that's it. It's a, that once part of the world that's been going on for thousands of years of their wars and aggressions against other groups. So it's kind of like, who are you fooling? United States government. So, so you're, it's a nothing burger at, to, to a great extent. I mean, if you want to include me as being a radical, whatever, because I played 15 years of Xbox Live and telling the truth about politics and fluoride in the water and what other serious topics are out there, that's just a typical political conundrum. Uh, in our society, it's just a constant debate about what's this, what's that, and what versus this versus that. So that's all I gotta say. Yeah. So again, it's it's just the government wasting more money, uh, trying to tackle a problem they know nothing about. And honestly, you know, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like an uh, example from The Simpsons uh, when Lisa was testing. Uh, again, my my knowledge of the current Simpsons is not that great. Uh, all my references of The Simpsons are from years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was one time where Lisa was testing if her brother was dumber than a rat. <laughs> and, uh, like, the rat touched a piece of cheese, and uh, the rat got electrocuted or <laughs> shocked. So the rat wouldn't try it again. Then Lisa hooked, uh, electrified like something like candy. Bart tried to grab it. He got shocked. Then he tried to grab it again and got shocked again. Then he tried to grab it again she got shocked again. <laughs> the government is Bart. <laughs> trying again and again, expecting a different result. Insanity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ready Danny to move on? Danny, Danny insane was the government, but I hope I hope to goodness to earth that over the next couple of decades, because obviously, you know, the baby boomers going to be retired soon altogether, and we Generation X, Y, and Z people, uh, we're going to take over society at large of its responsibilities. So let's say one of us in a network of friends go into government, whether it's be president of the United States or a congressman or a city councilman in United, in New York City, or whatever, as well as or local as that. You know, that'd be great to have gamers in our government to understand what the, the travesties or the hardships of what the country went through. But that's about it. It's just that. They're not going to enforce laws saying that you can't play certain games, or if you try to play this game, you have to be 18 over and stuff like that. And that's what goes on in the 1990s, you said, like you said, Triple J. And, uh, you know, I hope that the, the newer politicians who are gamers sooner or later will be, you know, that will be a great addition to having a bigger say in our government. And that will be a great addition to. But other than that, nothing radical about here. That's all. Yeah, um, I mean, so bottom line... Um just wish the government would actually understand something if they're going to investigate it, but they go in complete blinders on. Oh yeah, and it's and then and also I'm just tired of hearing about it because, like I said, I bring up Manhunt, I bring up Mortal Kombat. We've been dealing with this since the Sega Genesis, Sega CD days, mm -hmm. and, if I and we're kind of tired of hearing about it. And if I could say something too. Uh, I never really mentioned this to you directly, Triple J directly, as well as publicly especially, but I was reported by the Department of Homeland Security two times because I shared uh, information from like from a newspaper from like 2010, and the year was 2011, 2010, give or take, and that's what happened after the fact. Like, they, like whatever I shared on the internet was very new at the time to most people out there, and Yes, I'm not the only one sharing it, but there are people out there who are that ignorant enough and that stupid enough to believe that I'm some sort of this radical person because I read a newspaper or I read a book from like 20 years ago. Like, this has been mentioned for years, for decades, about what's going on in that country. And I don't like the fact that, you know, as a gamer, it's considered to be a radical because of what I read a newspaper from like 10 years ago and you're going to use it against me in the court of law. Now, does that sound rational? Like, this. That's because we as a people we have to be more educated than that. That's how it's going to come down to. But until then, you know, it's just going to be another typical, you know, Saturday. <laughs> so. Ready to move on? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, next, 